My record collection is the worst sounding record collection in the world. Saturday, I played 10 hours worth of music. It was great. Monday morning, I tried to put on a record and I had to take it right off because I had a flashback of when I was younger with the flu. Now I have to go back a few days. Wednesday night, I had dinner uh, with Coffee Dave. Those of you who know my channel, he's a fan favorite. He's a friend of mine, a record collector. Used to be big in the coffee industry. Coffee Dave and I went out to Katrina de la Fonda, La Katrina, La Fonda, de, de, I can't, I'm, I'm in a fog right now and you'll know why. If you already know why, you know, I sound like Barry White here. Uh, let, let me cut to the chase. I have COVID or I'm on my, I'm on my way out of COVID. I tested positive, but we went to Fonda La Katrina, my uh, great Mexican restaurant in Georgetown area of Seattle on Wednesday night. Saturday morning, Coffee Dave texts me that he tested positive and has the symptoms of COVID. So I test myself while I'm playing all these records, 10 hours of records, vinyl. It was great. I was alone in the house. Music was blasting. I tested negative. No problem. I wake up Sunday morning with a parched throat, a little sore throat, a little, feeling a little uh, kind of heated a little bit. I take the test. I'm positive. Go online with Kaiser. I have... COVID. Luckily, I've been boosted twice and both shots. Everything's mild. I heard this variant's mild anyway, but that makes me feel a lot better. They sent me Paxaville, which I've been taking. And aside from a funny, weird, like Paxaville taste, uh, no other side effects. So one night was horrible in terms of sleeping, no pain except for a sore throat, no muscle aches, uh, no tightness of, of chest or breathing. Just I couldn't sleep all night and I felt a little warm, but I didn't have a fever. So, you know, you've heard these stories before of all the people going through this. I know a lot of you have and you have friends and family and we lost too many people, up to a million in this country alone uh, during the, uh, the major part of the crisis. But luckily uh, with this variant and control, and uh, the vaccines. I'm a vaccine supporter. I trust science. I, Anyway, that's not what this video is about. But I did put on a record Monday morning, and it sounded like shit. I won't even say the name of the record, because I don't want to make people think that record sounds like just shit. And this isn't about mobile fidelity or digital or analog competition or what's a great sounding record versus a not. You're not in a mood. Why does my system sound like shit? Why does that record sound like shit? But I had a flashback. I had an epiphany remembering when I was, I think mostly in high school and college when I, when I, a couple times when I had the flu and I was sick, I would want to stay home and play music thinking, ah, I'm home. I don't have to work. I don't have to go to school. I can play my records. Don't do it. At least not for me. I learned that's the biggest mistake in the world. Three months later, six months later, I put that record on and I have this sense measure, memory, bleh, sense memory flashback of that music, hearing that music when I was sick as a dog. It's not a good thing. So instead I've been listening to all these uh, uh, YouTube rambles, vinyl community rants and rages and, and education and Netflix. I did watch one of the most uh, over-the-top action violent films, a uh, new uh, South Korean film on Netflix called Carter. It just came out. Over-the-top, shoot em up action, two hours and 15 minutes plus. And it like, it, I mean, I was awake anyway, and so I watched that film. It was hysterical. Oh my God. I mean, there's some, in, there's some, kinky stuff in that film. You should watch that film if you're into, if you don't like violence and don't like naked people shooting people like in a, in a bathhouse in, in South Korea. <laughs> Whoa, that's like, and that's in the first 15 minutes, boy. Uh, I am ranting. I am in a space mode, but it now I'm taping this on Tuesday. I feel much better. I have to, um, I'm, I'm hungry as hell. I did not lose my appetite or my loss of taste or smell or any of that stuff. So, um, you know, I'm no different than the other millions of people who have uh, uh, contracted COVID. I am usually pretty careful, but I've been out in groups 
um, unmasks when I'm in public in a certain situation, but I wear my mask still. So this is not a lecture. You do what you need to do, but, but, but be mindful of that. But, you know, this collection right now sounds like shit. So I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait till the end of this week into the weekend. I'm approaching a birthday next week. I want to enjoy music again. I want to love my record collection. I want to love music. There's been several, um, records coming in the mail. I want to, I did listen to this. Oh, I'm going to bust a nut here. Listen to, remember this? I did listen to it twice straight through this Grateful Dead Lyceum 24 LPs. I loved it. I loved it. So much other new stuff uh, coming in. Um, so there'll be more videos coming once I get out of this uh, COVID record funk and my record collection starts sounding good again. I did show one record there and that's it. I think that's enough for, I don't have to rant on too long, but um, you know, stay healthy, America and the world. Mazzy loves you and uh, I really appreciate uh, all the support. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Right now, I'm in my time of need. So, and I don't ask this, I rarely ask this. I don't ha have commercials in the middle of my videos. I don't ask you to pay to, to $20 to ask me a question. I don't do all that extra shit, but do subscribe and do like and make comments. And I don't subscribe to everyone. I do subscribe, excuse me, I don't respond to everyone. See, I'm in a fog still, but uh, I really appreciate it. And I'm ranting now. And uh, as Vinyl Richie once said, Go Giants!